Hey, it's Leisha from Caught by Design. Today, I'm going to show you how you can add your own fonts to the Canva app, both the desktop version and the mobile app. Now, at the time of this recording, you are not able to add fonts in the free version of Canva. You will need Canva Pro or Canva for Teams, Canva for Education, or Canva for Nonprofits. Let's start out with the desktop version. You will need to have a font file downloaded and unzipped on the hard drive of your computer. So I'm going to use this free font from Font Bundles. It's called Timberly. It's one of my favorites. So I'll just download that and then I'll locate the download file. I downloaded mine to my desktop. Unzip it and then you'll see that I have all these files in the folder after it's been unzipped. Then I'll open up the Canva desktop app Click on Create a Design in the upper right hand corner and specify the size. I'm going to use a custom size that I've already set up or you could enter your own dimensions but I'm going to use this one that's 600 by 400 pixels that way it'll make it really easy for you to see what I'm doing. I'll click on the text tool over on the left hand side, then the purple box that says add a text box. Now I want you to notice this part underneath that that says um, add a heading, add a subheading. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but those are fonts that I have set up already in my brand kit. So now a text box has been added to my project. The font that is currently shown here is Arimo, which I set up as my default body text font in my brand kit. But if I click on the drop down arrow, it will open up the whole list of fonts and you'll see the fonts that are in my brand kit, you'll see my uploaded fonts, and then all of the other fonts that are available in Canva. To add a new font, I'll click on this button at the bottom of the font list that says Upload a Font. Go to where I have saved the font file on my computer. Select the file. Now I'm using the OTF file. Click on Open. Confirm that you have permission to upload the font to Canva. Wait for the file to upload and then you'll see the font in the uploaded font section of the font list. Then you use the font just like you do any other font in Canva. You can change the size or the color, make it your own. Now there's a second way to add fonts in the desktop version of Canva, and that's through the brand kit. We talked about that just a little bit earlier when I showed you those fonts that were listed at the top of the font menu. So to get to the brand kit, you go back to the home page of the app, look in the column on the left hand side and click on brand. You may have multiple brands, I only have one. So I go into my brand kit and you see here that I have my logos, my colors, and I have fonts. Now the first column is just the text styles, the ones that are in my brand kit for my headings, my subheadings, and my body text. But you can also look at the uploaded fonts, any font that you've uploaded just like we did a few moments ago in this list in the brand kit. Now I want to show you how to add this font through the brand kit so I'm going to actually delete the one that I added earlier and then I'll go back and I'll add it again. So you just click on the button that says add new, find it on your hard drive, select it, open it, Confirm it, let it upload, boom, there it is. If you want to modify the 
um, default fonts that are in your brand kit. You click on the pencil icon and then change to the font you want to use for a heading, a subheading, or body text. You can specify the default size, just whatever you want to do. Now, I don't want to leave this one in my brand kit, so I'm actually going to change back to a Remo, which I had earlier. You can also add fonts through the mobile Canva app. Now you cannot do fonts on the fly like we did through a text box. They can only be added through the brand kit on the mobile app. But you will need to have downloaded a font to your mobile device. So if you don't know how to do that, um, I'm going to show you how I do it on my iPhone. So I'm going to go to the Font Bundle site. I'm going to choose a free font. This one's called South Australia. And I'm going to select it and download it. And when I do, it's going to go into my files. If you don't know where your files are, once the, the um, file has been downloaded, you can just type in files in a search bar on your uh, mobile device, and then it'll bring up the files. You'll need to unzip this file just like you did on uh, the desktop app and so you navigate to where that is in your files select it and then click on uncompress and that unzips it once it's unzipped then it will show up uh, as a folder in your files as well and then you'll see the otf font and the ttf font and you're ready to upload it to canva in the Canva mobile app, look down at the bottom on the right-hand side, click on Menu, then under Tools, click on Brand. You'll see your brand kit there with the logos, colors, fonts, just like the desktop app. You'll have the text styles and the uploaded fonts. Click on the plus sign, navigate to the files where it's saved, confirm it, upload it, there it is. You can open a new project or an existing project, set your size, you're ready to add a text box, and you'll be able to select that newly uploaded font from the font list in Canva to use just like all the other fonts. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that now you'll try uploading some of your own fonts to Canva. If you're not already a Canva user, maybe you've been inspired to give it a try. And be sure to check out my other tutorials on YouTube, on my blog. You'll also find me on Pinterest and Instagram. I'm caught by design everywhere. I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel here so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.